To me, the Christian journey is an adventure. We can never tell what the next phase is going to be. That's the reason why it's so exciting. God has something in store for us, which we can only dream about. <laughs> My father had always wanted me to be a doctor or an engineer or an architect. You ought to become somebody that is great. Money is no object. I want you to be a good son, an accomplished person, giving good name to the family. <laughs> That's how he perceived uh, success to be. So the third year and fourth year of high school, I felt this very strange sensation coming over me. And that is, God had a special plan for me to call me to the ministry. So I told my parents this strange feeling, which I've never felt before. And uh, my father was livid, absolutely furious. He said, what is this nonsense you're talking about? Uh, receiving a call from God to serve Him, to become a minister. This is utter nonsense. You are a, a, a young person with a bright future ahead of you. If you want to serve God, no problem at all. Wait till you are 85, well into retirement, and then serve God. That would be fine. When you don't succeed in anything in life, you become a minister. But with, a, with 18 years old, with a bright future ahead of you, it's a waste of destiny. My father even rallied relatives to come and persuade me. So can you imagine one after another, my uncles, my aunties, they all came. This idea of becoming a pastor is absolutely stupid. Stop being stupid. Oh, that was a sad day for me because uh, having no encouragement from my parents whatsoever, I, I was uh, pretty discouraged at that time. Strangely, I did not have any doubt at all. How could a person, young person, 18 years old, have that kind of resolve? It's a still small voice speaking to me, repeatedly, again and again and again. You just cannot explain it. Case in point, Cambodia. Uh, when we arrived in Phnom Penh, Cambodia, the country was at war. It was a very difficult time, but to, just to illustrate the conviction I always had in my heart to be true and loyal to God. When the country was uh, plunged into severe conflict, most of the nights we could not sleep because of constant uh, rocket attacks into the cities. At night, we, we saw these uh, tracer bullets that lighted up the whole sky. It was a time to develop explicit trust in God, especially that promise, my grace is sufficient for you. What does it mean to be sufficient? You know, in a crisis in Phnom Penh, what is supposed to, to be sufficient? Sufficient means uh, to be safe, to be in a safe place, to be evacuated. Why was I so firm and faithful to that call? What made me uh, stood on my ground? As I look back, I think it was, it was because of the, of the love of God that had been constrained, constraining me all along. That's the only explanation I can give, and none else. God has a purpose for every child of His. When the call of God comes, we must by all means surrender ourselves to Him, despite of all odds. Christ in His mercy has done so much for us. To me, the Christian journey is an adventure. We can never tell what the next phase is going to be. That's the reason why it's so exciting. God has something in store for us, 
wish we can only dream about. 